Hello and welcome. My name is Clown. Back at it after two weeks of being lazy. So, you know what? I'm going to be even more lazy by picking a short game. Glory and Miserable Survivors DX, which I'm pretty sure it should be Glorious and Miserable Survivors DX, but you know, whatever. Also, I don't know what that DX is there for. Was there an older version? Do they just want to call it DX? Do they like the DS but don't want to, you know, catch a case with Nintendo? I have no idea. Either way, this game is theoretically incredibly long, but in practice, it is not. And what I mean by that is that uh, it's actually a pretty fun game to play. All things considered, uh, it's actually not it's not boring. I could genuinely play this game. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just like a survivor's type game. And I like those kinds of games. You know, you just kill stuff and level up and do that over and over again while using your currency to buy meta progression. And I love that. It's it's great. So, you know, theoretically, yeah, you could play this game as long as you want. You have some set levels that are only 20 minutes long, and then you also got endless mode. However, you know, this is a this is a channel about hand tie game so you know if i wanted to play a survivor's game this wouldn't be my pick necessarily that's why i only played it for the h content and luckily or maybe unfortunate for the game itself but lucky for me uh, it's very easy to get to the h content because all you have to do is die and uh, and there you go because that's i think that's the only h content in the game it's basically a loss condition where you not only get like a little animation when you see the stats for the you know like the end game stats page but also you unlock a little scene that you can look at in the gallery that just gives you like a little a little post story where you know you you lost the battle so now you're captured and uh you know not so good things happen to the character and there's a good about uh there's a good good bit of characters don't remember how many maybe like six or seven uh you know they're all in the cover i like that cover by the way it's it's a nice little menu screen and uh you know what uh the h content is pretty pretty simplistic not gonna lie but it looks it looks pretty good you know the art isn't going like fucking overdrive but it has you know it's going for the simplistic look kind of kind of a purposefully sort of like low detail look and i i can i can fucks with that i like that and uh the age scenes are voice acted which is good because they don't have much in the way they're just like a bunch of different uh the end screen ones are animated but the gallery ones are not so they just but the gallery ones have voice acting so that's pretty epic i always like voice acting big big plus plus. and uh yeah honestly to get all the age scenes it it'll probably run you maybe like maybe like 40 minutes to 20 minutes because the payouts for levels are really fucking high and they're not that hard the only thing is that you have to play the whole 20 minutes well actually you don't have to play the whole 20 minutes but the levels are 20 minutes long so yeah and then after that you unlock every character die with them on purpose and boom get all your age scenes you're cooking so honestly it's okay it's all right it's a fun enough game that if if it had like more age content with like the later levels and a bunch of added stuff man this could be great because not only would it be a fun game but it would also have very well spread out hentai and so this could have been great but as it stands now it's like it's literally this game was short therefore i made a video on it it was pretty all right but not enough there so yeah see you guys on the next one